That's how that goes. Pardon me? You thought it was on the slide. Oh, who's number one? Number one contributor to Linux kernel are individuals. They're people who don't work for anybody. Number three are people who work for people who don't want to be told who they work for, or they don't, we don't know who they work for. So that's all the numbers. I have all the numbers are in the talk on Google, you know. You can go look it up. I'm not going to go into those kind of details. So let's go into the Linux ecosystem, you know. That was a fun highlight. Made fun of Canonical. Any defense? Nah. Outside, all right. I'll gladly take it outside. <laughs> So what's the Linux ecosystem? Plumbing, Linux plumbing. You know, we talked about Linux plumbing, what it is. We always had to, when we talked about this conference, we always had to figure out and explain it. So what is Linux? You know, Open Solaris says, hey, we're just like Linux except the kernel. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm like, yes, that's a good point. <laughs> um, but that's even wrong. You know, so this is Linux ecosystem. This is what makes up Linux. We got the kernel, we got GCC and binutils, make. These guys, everybody relies on that, even Solaris. Kernel, Linux kernel, x.org, glibc, man pages. Man pages are huge. Michael's done an awesome job there. HAL, Dbus, also, NetTools, all those things. This is what makes up Linux. This is uniquely Linux. You can replace some of these pieces with BusyBox if you really are crazy. Um, but it doesn't, I mean, my phone runs x.org, Dbus, HAL, UDEV, my phone, <laughs> which is scary, UDEV. That's the Linux ecosystem, OK? So let's look at the individual pieces of this. You know, what's big? Is PCMCI utilities really big? Not really. So here's lines of code, all that stuff. The kernel itself makes up 40% of all the lines of code for all the pieces of the ecosystem. With over, so over 6 million lines of code, it's been calculated that sometime next year we're going to break 6.5 million lines of real code. This is using the SLO C count tool. And that makes the Linux kernel be worth over a billion dollars in development. How many of them are ISA drivers? <laughs> How many of them are ISA drivers? Well, thanks to your box back there. <laughs> I don't know. PCI. PCI. That's PCI. There's a lot. Um, drivers are only half the kernel, though. Um, you, or no, 40% of the kernel. 30% uh, of the kernel is the architecture-specific stuff. The core kernel is really tiny. Neat. Uh, GCC, big project. Those guys are doing crazy stuff. Um, X.org. This is all the individual 170 some odd Git trees. <laughs> it's good, but you're like 10%, 11% of the whole ecosystem. Binutils, that's huge. I didn't realize Binutils is bigger than glibc. glibc, also another big one. Also comes in after that. And then man pages. Man pages is huge overall. All the other projects that I list on that are tiny, don't even show up. So Michael's done an awesome job with man pages. Better than programmers, yeah. <laughs> so let's look at these individual pieces. So yeah, I do show, okay, I do show kernel contribution by everybody. Here it is for all the kernel for the past three years. Who did what? Amateurs, again, are people who we know don't work for any company, and they work on their own. Unknown is they don't want to be known, or we really don't know. The ones that we don't know are only contributing 10 or less patches. Um, you might get an, if you send me a patch, or you send a patch to the kernel, and we don't know who you are, you'll get an automated email from me. Please be nice. Um, IBM, Nobel, Intel, consultants, these are people who work for other people, and they get paid for it as individuals. They wouldn't show up otherwise. Oracle has been moving up. Linux Foundation, SGI. It's cool. They're not dead yet. They're trying. Um, okay, so and I, I, I pointed out where Canonical is on this list. All right, so let's look at GCC. GCC is pretty good. Uh, amateurs, 37%. Are people doing it on their own, or I really couldn't figure out their company background? Code Sorcery is a big one. Red Hat, IBM, Novell's at number five. I think Novell's at number five at all these. It's really weird. Google, ST, Intel, and AMD, timed on there, number eight. Uh, Canonical, anybody? Pardon me? What about Cygnus? That's Red Hat. This is the past three years. Cygnus hasn't been around for three years. I didn't look at that. So this is the past three years' worth of development. Uh, Canonical did contribute. One patch. Three years. Thank you very much. But you tie with Gen 2. <laughs> Come on, guys. You're doing this for money, right? All right, x.org, Red Hat, huge. Intel, huge. Um, the unknown number here, these people are really Red Hat or Intel employees, but they don't really know how to write git commits. 
Keith, I know your naming scheme for your network now. <laughs> Five different things. They go after stringed instruments, right? Mandolin, banjo. <laughs> that was a pain. Now, Jesse doesn't realize that he needs a set of host name. <laughs> um, Ajax, where's Ajax? He was all over the place, too. Um, that unknown really is probably split between Red Hat and Intel, to be fair. Sun, amateur, a bunch of people doing stuff on their own. Novell squeaks in. Tungsten graphics. Pardon me? Oh, they're not fifth, they're six. Okay, sorry. We're good. Um, not really tied for five. If you look at the real numbers, we're really. When I tie something, I'll show the tie. AMD. Pardon me? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, two split, it'll go down. Oh, who cares? These are, these are numbers. NSA. The U.S. government. SE Linux stuff. And the Apple. Apple's down there sneaking in. Uh, anybody guess, want to guess Canonical? I told you this is going to be a long hour, guys. <laughs> 10 patches. Good job. Three years. 0.04% of all contributions. Is that more or less than NVIDIA? Actually, way less than NVIDIA. NVIDIA, I think, was actually number 12 or 11. NVIDIA actually contributes to X.org. They Yes, I don't know if Canonical sends their patches through NVIDIA. They have the, Canonical is the nicest installer for the closed source NVIDIA driver than anybody. <laughs> anyway, Canonical. And what about Gen 2? Woohoo! <laughs> 57 patches. Come on, guys. Gen 2 X developers. They're good. Debian. <laughs> Debian's actually contributing here, which is nice. Nice to see. All right. Bin Utils. Work on bin utils is pretty much done. There's very few patches overall, so these numbers can be skewed by one or two very easily. Amateurs, Red Hat, Co Sorcery, IBM, Novell, Google. Actually, Google, something came out of the black hole. <laughs> that was nice. MIPS. Uh, I know dot at, I think, is a company. I think they're an ISP. And HP tied, so HP tied with a little ISP. Um, analog and Apple, tied for number 10. Um, there was no canonical <laughs> contributions. Uh, no, no Gen 2 or Debian either, so I'll be fair there. <laughs> Alsa. Alsa's all Red Hat and Novell. I think, I think that's skewed because Yaroslav now works for Red Hat, so all his old contributions got counted for Red Hat. And there's some amateur. And that's it for Alsa. It's, nobody else is helping with Alsa, unfortunately. Man Pages. Everything by Google and On Their Own Time and Linux Foundation. Thanks to Michael. A huge, huge contribution there. So, make sense? 